Kuching. You spin my head right round. Ching.
Oh, thank you, Sean. Ding dong doid. Okay, well, I'll, th I'll tell you what, I'll thank people when we're in the. Let's get in the. Let's get in the stream. Let's get in the stream. Now, of course, we've gone back in time, so the shack has somewhat disappeared. Oh, congratulations for collecting all of the level one emotes. Here we are. Here we are. The sh the snow was cleared, and it's uh, a nice sunny day just outside of the uh, the castle. Um, I ha I was a bit late because I um I tried to start the truck, but it turns out. Um, the truck doesn't work in medieval times, so I've had to um, I've had to modify the truck. Clippity clop, clippity horse. Clippity clop, clippity horse. Oh, I've disappeared. Here I am. Clippity clop indeed. Oh. I will be trying to mute tactfully as I am still coughing a bit, but um, hopefully that happens. Hello everyone. Thank you for, thank you for, thank you for, for coming to whatever this is. Um, it's a, am I partly drawing my own carriage? No, no, it's horses. It's, ho it's horse drawn, like it's horse drawn. It's horses. That seems a, oh draw my own yeah yeah, and and least drew least drew the truck so so no. No. Oh the big tech quite quite the honour quite the honour never sides. Oh dear, I'm sorry for the effect I've had on all your lives, um and and mainly mine. Uh, thank you for all the people that subbed. Uh, do I, do I, let's, who subbed? Who subbed? Dr. Plem has resubbed. Thank you, Dr. Plem. Uh, thank you, Disconnected Dan, for the sub. Thank you, St. Lab, for the sub. And we had a hype train. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the 38 bits, Dr. Plem. Thank you for the thank you for the gifted sub, Dr. Plem. Very generous. Very generous. And Sharple has resubbed. Thank you very much. Um, oh, hang on. Oh. Right. Oh, hang on. I hope this is worthy of the big TV. Big TV, big Dutch TV. Quite the honour. I hope. I hope you're settling. Uh, hope you're settling well in, uh, in, in, uh, in the in the Netherlands. I hope everyone else is well. Got some Mika. Oh, Milka like that, like the chocolate. Trying so hard to be TV, and of course, I hope you're also comfortable in your current abode, Doctor Plem. And all of the Plems. I assume the TVs are taller in 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 the Netherlands. Are they bigger than Finnish TVs? Um, it probably depends. It probably probably have to take it on a TV by TV basis. I think Finns are relative. The thing with Finns is they just all their spaces are designed too efficiently. So everything is designed as if people are tall. So like lots of they have cupboards like all the way up a wall just because they don't want to waste the space. And only I, I think most a lot of the houses I've gone in in Finland, I'm the only one that's ever been able to reach some of the cupboards. But anyway, let's let's get into the let's get let's pop up into the into the castle. Oh yes, here we go. Ding dang do custom transition, which I've I've forgotten to make slightly better. I don't think I'm the tallest man in Finland. Um, I've just, I've just, I've just had the, had the fortune to move into, like I'm taller on average than, than than all of Lisa's quite short, um, northern Finnish family. I feel like I'm quite long. Um, I mean, I'm relatively, I'm relatively, I'm relatively, I can mean, I can. How tall is Paddy? I don't know. That's ever come up. Uh, let's see. Let's see. We can we can see how tall Paddy is. We can. 
We can research. What is this if not a streamer will instantly just check how tall Paddy is? Um, on his on his Google about page, I guess taken from Wikipedia, it says he's 1.85 meters. Thank you, Sean. Ah, uh, yes, yeah. This is the this is the um, the 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 McGuinness crest with the horrible little fish. There you go, Oracle. Same height as Paddy. What an honour. Oh, I haven't. Um, I look like a fool. I've not. I've not turned on my medieval legs. There we go. Deploy legs. Okay. Um, okay. Here we are. We finally reached episode one of uh, King Dang Do, the, I'm going to say world's first Paddy McGuinness Crusader Kings playthrough. Oh, oh and also, um, hello to anyone who's come in through the Crusader Kings game tag. Um, I'm sorry, but there will, there will be some gameplay if that's what you, if that's what you like. It'll just be, it'll probably be relatively slow and it'll be, there'll be a lot of chat about, about Paddy McGuinness who you've probably not heard of. So, um, I don't know. It's a nice community. Um, but let's let's watch out and see if anyone comes in through the game tag because that yeah, they're gonna they're gonna you know they're gonna seem lost. They are like Charlie Chaplin's shoes, never. Eh? No, sure we don't all have we don't all have an opposite uh, Australian streamer. And that's yeah, I mean they they've probably heard of Peter K over there. Uh, as 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 people that have that followed the uh, uh, the take me out chat in the book, Paddy comes across as slightly bitter that he wasn't picked to be the host of Take Me Out Australia, uh, to the point he didn't bother to Google who the host was, even though it's the first result. Uh, so so Paddy is presumably not very well known in Australia. Uh, yes, for anyone that missed episode zero of this. Um, the epilogue. Um, uh, basically, there was there was some. It was confusing. I wanted to show people my my new eggs alerts, um, and then I, I was the kind of victim of some sort of prank. Um, and then we read a curse scroll that explained how Paddy has Make got sent to the past. Thing. That matched up annoyingly close to my actual head. Still, you hope we invade our own lands. It could, we could do. <laughs> no, that is that, <laughs> that that is funny, Sean. Nature's cling film. Clippity clop, clippity horse. Um, if you do Clippity enough eggs, clop, there is a punchline to the eggs alert. Clippity but clop, to be honest, it's not worth horse. it. Oh, we've got clippity clop. Clippity clop, clippity horse. Yeah, there are lots of clippity these. Clippity clop, clippity horse. Um, probably Dan. I, I think it might have given me COVID. So um, nature's cling film. That is that's that's too close to my head, isn't it? But if I lean here, it's going to be right on it. Um, I think we could preserve. The, I think I think um, maybe I should take a digital copy of the scroll and I'll throw the um, I'll throw the original scroll into the lake because um, I do think it gave me COVID. Um, but there's no way to there's no way to prove that. But anyway, Paddy has been sent back in the past. Paddy's been sent back to the medieval times. Uh, basically, he wanted an island, but he he accidentally did a deal with the with the devil. It's 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 com it's complicated and, and to be honest, slightly far fetched. Um, but actually, if we we can we can pop into the we can pop into. The game. Oh yes, here we go! Ding dang do. Oh, I don't have game audio on. That's because I never play the game with the audio on. Whenever I've played Crusader Kings, I've never heard this. Let's have a bit of this. Uh, yeah, that's Ma Ma actually Jambad. Manding is 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 a really good, a really good bit of the map to have because it's all gold mines. Uh, but we're not in Manding, which is in Mali. We're up here on the Isle of Fernandos. 
um, Wout Jaloff. Um, yeah, there's Jaloff. That's right. Yeah. So Paddy, Paddy wanted the island. He got it, but he ended up getting sent back in time. It's, it's all, it's all awkward. He probably regrets what he did, but he won't admit it. Um, so yeah, but this is um, here's Paddy. Um, here's Paddy. There's, there's, here's the, um, here's the McGuinness family crest. It, it does a bit. It does a bit, Sean, doesn't it? Uh, but that you know, it's what Paddy wanted. Um, luckily, luckily, um, when the devil cursed us, it, we also we also got given quite a bit of starting money. So I think that will that will help us to ease into the game a little bit. Um, if you want to think about why it might be a difficult starting location, uh, we are Paddy is a Catholic. Um, obviously, there aren't many of those uh, for for quite a long way. So yeah, we've got a capital hot bottom. Um, oh, let let me let me tell you about the stream gimmicks. Uh, can I make something come up on screen? <laughs> yeah, the thing is, Doctor Plan. I I did do a little bit of I did do a little bit of customizing to change him a little bit, but he's basically just a default character. He's basically just a default character. Um, you can also see this by doing, I think, exclamation mark King Dang Do in the chat. We'll give you the list of um, the list of whatever they are menu menu featurettes. But basically, if you want to, if you want to, if you want to, um, if you want to rename something, that can happen. If we, we can rename anyone in the game. We can rename any place in the game. Um, if we get artifacts later on, we can rename the artifacts, which could be fun. Um, you can also spawn a character into the into the court, so you can spawn yourself in as a child, or as a counsellor, or as a just a member of the court. Um, you can do that. Call the character whatever you want. Uh, I've got a I've got a little spin wheel, um, and yeah, as as Killian has seen, you can add something to the to Ding Dang Do list, um, which is a list of things we will we will try and do through the game. And I've got these stacked in the wrong order. So you can add something to the list and we'll we'll try and you know ding dang do it. So it could be, you know, seduce a queen, become king of Africa, whatever, whatever. However big or small, we can work towards these things. You can hire a court jester Nevo, but you need to um, you need to become a king to be able to activate the royal court. The money can do that. Um, it opens up a few more of these positions that you can you can put people in. So there is there is a court jester, but you can only get it once you're a sort of bigger king. Sorry, I'm coughing quite a bit. But anyway, I think that's most of the admin. Oh yeah, we are immortal. We are immortal. Um, but immortal doesn't mean you can't die. It just means you don't die of old age. But anyway, I feel like that's I feel like that's most of the admin out of the way. Oh, also um, at the top of the screen, there's a little donation goal. Um, I think it 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 might be it would it would be nice for Paddy to create his own religion. Uh, unfortunately, the the religion the religion creating feature seems to have been Greg's walled. Um, uh, I don't know what that means. It's been Greg's walled, but maybe if we hit the donation goal, we can break through the the Greg's wall. Yeah, sure. But unfortunately, unfortunately, that is the um, that unfortunately that is that is that is the rule. I'm afraid. Um, until you have to be a king, you have to be a king to hire a jester. Oh, that's a big. Um, that's that's too long, isn't it? That's too long. But anyway, let's. let's, let's. The U.S. Embassy got involved in the wars last year, apparently. I feel like I missed I missed some war chat. Okay, shall we play some Crusader Kings? So up here it gives us tips.
What, yeah, what's what's Jamba done? Oh, Jolof was oh, because it's on because it's down here. That's where they would have been, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm. They would have been here. Is it a duchy? Um, oh, there's Jolof spelt like that. Is a duchy. Okay, let's let's play some Crusader Kings. I think it could potentially be doxing Charbel if we were if we if there was anyone here who wasn't already in our group of friends that were aware of that. But I don't think it's really I'm not sure it's really doxing. Okay, so the things the game is telling us is we don't have an heir. Uh, it doesn't matter too much because we are immortal. Um, we haven't chosen a lifestyle. We should do that. We're not married. Okay, well we can choose a lifestyle. We can choose a lifestyle. Let's choose a lifestyle. I think we decided we were a stewardship king, a big money guy. Which of the stewardship lifestyles do we think Paddy would, Paddy would adopt? Do we think Paddy would have a wealth focus, a domain focus, a duty focus? And you're you're right, you're right, Sean. There are there are there are intrigue shagging options. Yeah, I think he would be avarice. Um, the thing is, we're going to live a long time, so the chances are we'll probably be able to fill up a lot of these trees. Oh, hey, someone's donated. Uh, oh, uh. Uh, Oracle's going to do this. Thank you, Oracle. Please become reader of Oriel in the north of Ireland. I'm sure this will not take long. It won't. It won't take as long as you... It won't take as long as you think. Uh, as long as Oriel was a place in this period, it is. Um, so I could just rename this guy. You could just become this guy. Gutsching. Oh, thank you, Dominic Cummings. Stream sponsored by T. Dominic Alaviva Kumbo <coughs> Visi Englannin Punta Spin TV. We will spin the wheel. Okay, I don't have a Ben, but I do have a cheat menu that is that is quite user friendly. Gutsching. Oh dear. I, I, yeah, someone's hidden behind anonymous to. Uh, <laughs> one of those, one of those keyboard warriors, spawning the character who drips in Pete's possibly in, in it an air. Okay, that can happen. Okay, so I'm going to rename Congalac. Um, this is a rename, but it's a good rename because you do get to become the king of. Oh no! Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. I thought you wanted to be the ruler. I thought you wanted to be the ruler. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, that will. That will take longer. Okay, so we're adding that. That is that is to be added to the to the to the ding dang do list. Okay, that that is fine. Let me let me pull up the ding dang do list. Okay. Um, become ruler of Oriel. Brackets Ireland. Just to just to remind us where that is. Okay, great. We've now added something to the ding dang do list. By conquest or marriage. Okay, I will add that. Now, we do have an issue with marriage in the moment because we don't have a wife. But because... Um, oh, okay. That needs a line break. That needs a line break. Not the ding dang to... Yeah, do you know what? Ding dang to do is better. Um, that may that may that may subtly change in between streams. No, no, well we can get we just don't have many options because because we are Catholics and no one around us will marry a Catholic. Um, it means that if I click on Paddy and then click on um, find a wife, we're only going to have the people that are in our court, which gives us three options. 
At the moment, we can only marry uh, Dida, Dasil, or Nastique. So these are these are our current these are the only current eligible maidens. It might be Oh we could create our own or we can um it's spawning someone in. I think we could spawn people in though. Okay, we've got a wheel spin. Uh when we need to okay, add someone in to represent me. Okay. This will at least we'll get a look at what the character spawner options are. Do any of the maidens have a cart preference? Oh, I was muted when I said that. We'll have a look at the religions around us. Uh, it's quite the mixture. Ditching. That is a very good, a very good religion. Uh, yes, we'll get to that in a minute. We we can we can we can name a powerful local leader, Dave Spikey. That that would be funny. Could, he could buy, yeah, he could impress them with his Stuart's cart with his Stuart's cart. Okay, so we're spawning someone in to represent me. So our spawning options. Ditching. Uh, can we add a court just called Ben Moss? That's that's good. That's good. Killian was too embarrassed to put the username to this. Yeah, quite right. Uh, what I'll do is I'll add that to the to-do list so we remember to do that. Okay, the spawning options are you can spawn someone in as a counsellor, so as like a, a, a like a good person doing one of the main jobs. Uh, you can spawn someone in as a child. Or you can spawn someone in as a kind of regular member of the of the court. So if we're spawning someone in to represent me, should they be a counsellor, a child, or um, an adult member of the court? I think everyone's going to want a child, aren't they? Okay. Should I be an average child, an extraordinary child... Or a pathetic child. I think I think I do need to ask Lab. Yeah, I mean, yes. P's in the chat for Pete should be a really good child. Do I need to put this to a poll? Oh, we're getting different. We're getting different. <laughs> we're getting, we're getting different. We're getting different results. I think this might. This one should go to a poll. This one should go to a poll. And Sean's right. There's a very good chance we never see this child again. Um, what kind of child should I be? X trawled average pathetic okay well at the moment Sean he doesn't have a lot of choice that there are no children in the court I suppose I could be Paddy's ward Yeah, Chamber's right. You might, you might see, you might see some a glimmer of the, the old Paddy in a pathetic child. It's going to be pathetic, isn't it? What am I doing? Well, no. Maybe we should let it. Maybe we should let it play out. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Sean, for clarifying. How are my levels? Am I too loud? I look like I'm peaking. I look like I'm peaking. My mic's been all over the place because my voice is also bad. Yeah, all right, it's going to be pathetic. It's going to be pathetic. And can you hear game audio as well? Okay, fine. It's pathetic. It's pathetic. It's pathetic. <laughs> yeah, the two, the two main curses. Okay, I'm going to be pathetic. Um, how old should I be? Should I be... I mean, should I be... I can be anywhere between baby and... Um, I can be anywhere between baby and, and an 18-year-old. I think, I think people are going to want me to be zero, aren't they? I'm newborn. Uh, 
Oh, and he has come in as my son. Or Paddy's son. Brilliant. Seabert Paddyson McGuinness. Um, I have the hideous trait. That, that, that's the ugliest you can be. I've got the imbecile trait, which I think is the stupidest you can be. And I've got the feeble trait. Um, meaning I'm, I'm, I am Seabert's body's wasting away, leaving him ailing and weak. So, um... So, uh... We need to uh, just just edit his name so that he's Pete. Great, and because of the naming convention, that makes me Pete Paddison McGuinness. <laughs> he does look quite fed up. Um, uh, I don't need to pin me because um, we'll, we'll get updates because I'm, I'm currently the player heir. But I am not immortal. Yeah, this does have the ring of uh, for Peter paintings for anyone that can remember that unfortunate incident. <laughs> People were not rooting for Peter paintings. Okay, what donations did we have? Um, what donations did we have after? Uh, while I was making myself into a child. Um, okay, so, okay, yeah, 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 court jester. Bring down the ding dang do list. Uh, make Ben Moss court jester when possible. That is true, Labe, isn't it? It's a very vain, very vain zero-year-old baby I've become. Yes, we can rename a powerful leader today, Spikey. Um, and spin the wheel. Okay, okay. Let, right, let's find ourselves. Let's find ourselves a viable Dave Spikey. Um, how local do we want? Because. Um, I think the kingdom that we're part of would be Idrisid. So, I mean, he would be the nearest big king. We can wait to spin the wheel. Yeah, we can do. Or we can we can spin it. Um, I've forgotten what I've put on the wheel. I think quite generic options. It could be t the leader of Tindouf, Roostermid. Uh, Sultan Mohammed, I think, is quite a big historical leader. Um, where would we like? Where would we? Where do we? Where do we think Dave Spikey would be ruler? Could be France. Could be Italy. We could make Dave Spikey the Pope. Um, although I don't know what that would achieve. He would probably just die. He's quite powerful. Although he's in a war. Gan would probably get quite powerful. We can make Dave Spikey the leader of Gan. Pope Spikey? Yeah, we could make him Pope. We're probably about to break off from the Pope, of course, to make our own religion, so. It might not matter. Or he could be could be King of Italy. I can't make Sean. I can't think. Probably just, probably just, probably just different northern comedians. Are we, are we, do we like Pope? Any objection to making Dave Spikey the Pope, or making the Pope Dave Spikey? Well, sadly, there aren't any non-humans. There are no non. There are no playable non-humans in uh, in CK three. Okay, edit name. Um, I guess I'll just do it. I'll just, I'll just do it as. Oh, why did that work? <laughs> K 
could be it doesn't let you rename in the Pope. Uh, it doesn't let you rename in the Pope. You can edit sexuality, yes. Um, I, I, I guess I'll do that for the I'll do that for the price of a rename. Go for the Moroccan Sultan. Um, wait, there's so many. We've got we've got this one. He could he could be Sultan Spiky. This guy, yeah, we'll make this guy do Spiky. I think this is a good one because we could end up in opposition with this guy pretty quickly. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Pope didn't work. I'll, I'll look into that in between streams. <laughs> do I <laughs> do I make his name Dave? <laughs> and then do I <laughs> do I rename the house? I think that's what I need to do. Hang on, I'm just going to do a. Um, I'm just going to do. I'm just going to do a quick save, just in case this doesn't work. Because um, we are just briefly going to become this guy, so that we can edit his house name. Any idea what the spiky house motto might be? Currently it's God heal me. Which is apt actually because he does work as some sort of doctor. Yeah, the player descriptions are all very harsh. But we can always edit that as we go. And this looks like a nice spiky object to be the crest. I'm sure that's fine. Yes, God heal me, lads, 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 exclamation mark. Can't undo that change. Right, so he's now um, uh, Sultan Dave Ibn Yaha of the Spiky Sultanate. But we, we don't care about him. We want to be Paddy. <laughs> Soon will come the Night of the Phoenix is good. <laughs> but look, we, we'll change that soon. We'll to, right, okay, no, we didn't pick a lifestyle. Uh, for now, it's got to be... Well, wealth, domain or duty. I think, I think Paddy's a wealth-focused guy, right? Paddy likes money. Paddy likes money. Right, Paddy's a money guy. Um, oh, we can. Oh, we've got eleven points to attribute. Okay, well we can. Let's just. Let's just do that. He loves money. He loves money. Right. Okay. Um, I think Paddy would be an architect because of the um, of the screeding, you know. Yeah, he's avaricious. That's we, we will we will we'll build up we will build up the avaricious tree. Okay, we've got quite a lot of money. Oh, we're also very close to breaking the Greg's wall and starting our own religion. Uh, Scrooge McGuinness, yeah, he may be a little bit thrifty. But I think he might... We've got loads of money. I reckon... But we can't... We only have... At some point we build a monument. I don't know if you can rename monuments. What you can do is you can build uh, like settlements and rename the settlement. So we could do that. And probably will. Um, so we don't have a wife, but we, we have very limited wife options at the moment. Um, 
We can only marry Dida, Dasil, or Nastique. So we could pick one of those, or we could we could wait. I assume when Paddy sets his own religion, he'll probably set it so he can have more than one wife. I, I, I suspect that's the way Paddy will go. What we could do is we could use some of our money to develop, um, to develop Hot Bolton. Um, so we could, um, oh. we could build ourselves a, a trade port or some, some hunting grounds, something like that, to, to get us a bit of money in. Yeah, I'd love to, Oracle, but unfortunately, I think we're too far away from Oriole to communicate with them. So we just basically, if we want to meet more people, we need to have some more land. <laughs> Do you laugh? Um, I believe Paddy is um, is is bisexual. So, so it, it is true that if if for example, <laughs> for example, Paddy wanted to get closer with his steward. Um, the seduce option is right there. I feel like Paddy would also would always have a seduce going, wouldn't he? Oh, that's not going to work though. Um, you can probably hear something. It could just be on my phone. Uh, hopefully that sorted it. Hopefully that sorted it. Would you believe, King of Time, we haven't made much progress? Um, we were just deciding whether or not to try to seduce one of our um, one of our councillors. Um, but yeah, what do we think Paddy would do? I think the way to be able to get more wives is to be able, is to is to conquer more land. Um, so I guess, but we're not in a great position. We, we we are just a tiny little island. We are just a tiny little island. Catching. That's a very good one, Dan. Thank you, thank you, disconnected Dan. Um, for the ding dong list, acquire. The Holy Relic, the Fickle Finger of Fate. Okay, so what we'll do is when we find a relic, we will rename it the Fickle Finger of Fate. Let's add that to the to-do list. Um, acquire, oh no. The Fickle Finger of Fate. Very good rename. Oh, and that has blasted us through the Greg's wall. Um, shall we do that then? Because I think I feel like I feel like creating his own religion is something Paddy would love to do. Um, but at the moment, see, the problem is it just costs. It just costs too much in piety. It just costs too much in piety. Um, and I think there's only one place we can go to find some piety. So let's just pop. Let's just pop back outside for a minute. Clippity horse. Clippity clop. Clippity horse. Well, the thing is, Oracle, if we make our own religion, we can pick all the rules, including how many wives we can have. Okay, so we what we need what we need is some more piety. Um, I'm not sure where to find it. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what happens when I click this. Ooh, that fresh bake smell. Grace, we bake our own pasties fresh every day 
for that delicious just baked taste. That'll do for me. Thank you. Greg's the baker's ready when you are. Oh, what's this? What's this? It's some fresh bake at home. Greg's steak piety. New at Iceland. New at Iceland. Um, and and luckily, luckily redeemable in the game. Okay, okay. Let's 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 forget about this. Oh yes, here we go, ding dang do. I had to try and describe that to Lisa. Um, yeah, I mean, right. Okay, that's that's worth some piety. Right. So now we can just input the piety we've got into the game. Lovely. Uh, I I I just like a a fresh microwave steak piety, Doctor Blem. That's mine. And now, now that means we're free to create whatever religion we want. Gitching. Oh, thank you for the subscription, King of Time. VSR. Oh, vegan sausage roll. Yes, 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 that makes sense. They are very nice. Okay, so... I mean... Again, hi to anyone who came into the game tag, hoping to see some gameplay. Um, we're now going to decide what religion Paddy McGuinness would create. Um, so, if anyone's got an idea for a name for the religion, um, we, we need that. Um, I know people were thinking about tenants earlier on, so we've got that. And then we've got all these little options just to fill in as to what the rules of the religion should be. Yeah, I think some version of padism or paddyism. Shitism is a good one, discussed it down. Shitism is, shitism is a good one. It was proposed uh, during the during the old stand-up show. Grumpy <laughs> manism is good. We can come back to name. Um, okay, tenets wise. I mean, feel free, you know, feel free for anyone to to chip in here, but I, I think carnal exhalation, which is basically just means that um, it just makes it makes it a real a real bonking religion. Sean has chipped in with a very good point that uh, that Paddy was actually vehemently against shitism, although he never really he never really explains what it was, and it does make lust for virtue. I'm going to say that carnal exhalation is um, is a is a must have for the Paddy religion, definitely. Exactly, King of Time. He would definitely want a bonking religion. I don't think he'd be so keen on monks. I do think pursuit of power is quite a paddy. It's quite a paddy thing. Um, so just um, what is and, and what is not righteous is transient. Defined by those who currently hold power. This means the pursuit of power is the only truly righteous cause. I think pursuit of power sounds like a real paddy thing to do. Um, we could have astrology. We could have astrology. For what does astrology? What's um, uh, the night seers? Our window into the realm of the divine. The great secrets and mystery of the world are written there, open for all to learn if they know where to look. <coughs> Allows adherents to divine the stars and predict their future. There is one that promotes lying, King of Time, yeah. But the thing is, Paddy would want to lie. Does Paddy admire lying in others? I don't think he does. Whereas you're right, Oracle, he does like fate. It does make boats go faster, which considering we live on an island... Yeah, fickle finger effect. Exactly. Yeah, pa actually, that's a good point, isn't it? Maybe astrology is a good one. Yeah, exactly. Ex I think Sean has got this on the head. That pa Paddy, Paddy himself is a is a greedy liar. 
that he wants everyone around him to be very honest and generous with him, doesn't he? Is there a sleepy ghost option? Um, well, there, there's um, reincarnation is, is one you can have, uh, where sometimes uh, people will think a child is, is a reincarnated ancestor. Um, I guess that's sort of like a ghost. I'm not sure if there's any of the ones that are a ghost will make you go to sleep. Um, I suppose es esotericism, where you can divine, um, you can, um, you can, uh, you can speak to the spirits. But I think astrology is a good one. Uh, we can look at what's synocratic folk. <coughs> um, synocratic positions. It um, it basically means that you are more tolerant of um, the some of the folk religions. And there is there is King of Time. There is a nudity one. Um, there is a nudity one. Um, uh, which isn't sexy of nature. It is native primitivism. Is the is the need to um. The thing is, um, I will have to turn on the anti nudity thing. But also, um, I don't think Paddy would want to be a nudist. I think he'd he'd like he'd like the naked ladies. But wouldn't he gag a lot when he saw a naked man? I think he probably would. He did smoke half a joint once, that's true. Um, there is, I think, the one that's closest to occasionally smoking a joint would be either like ritual celebrations or um, esotericism where you consult the spirits. Megalithic constructions means they, they worship stone circles. As uh, so you can build stone circles. Um, also, they like hills. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is what that is what he would do. The wretch, the joint made him gag more than only... a stone, He could make a stone love lift. Yes. Yeah, I think those are the options. That I reckon it's um, astrology um, or monolithic constructions. Are there any other good ones? I think those were I think those were the two best. Uh, hedonism could be a good one as well. Yeah, just uh, what does hedonism actually do? It makes gluttonous a virtue, and it means you're less stressed. I think astrology is the funniest. I think the tenets of our religion. I think the tenets of our religion will be astrology, carnal exhalation, and pursuit of power. Well, because carnal ex exhalation is already quite a hedonistic one, isn't it? But we think he'd definitely be a hedonist. The thing is, he could just leave hedonistic. He could just live hedonistically anyway, couldn't he? We can come back to this. I think those are a good draft three. Uh, did we come up with a good name? Um, on the plus side, we'll come back to this. Okay, we've got okay, we've got we've got lots of um, we've got lots of doctoral decisions to make. What would the religion's view on gender be? Fickle fingerism is quite funny, as is shitism. This may have to go to a, a poll. Yeah, I think he because I think Jambo, you might be right as well that 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 Paddy would sort of want to live hedonistically, but he wouldn't like everyone else doing it. <coughs> Yeah, now Sean, what I was thinking, with, you know how the book was going to be called Girl Power? I think there's something in saying that Paddy would actually make a religion either female dominated or equal, but then do everything within his power to ever stop a woman from holding a, um, 
from ever holding ever holding a, a powerful chop or land. And also Nevo is right that Paddy probably does wish he could be female dominated. Um, the slight problem is we are it would also be funny to have it would also be funny to have a male dominated religion called girl power. Yeah, that's what I think, Sean. That that he he would pick one of these, but actually, we'd never we'd we'd do everything we could to stop a woman ever rising to any rank. Well, I I, I apologise for besmirching the big TV, Nevo. What do we think? Female or female or equal? Um. Actually, female dominating might things may, might make things potentially difficult for us later on, because it means that men can't be granted titles. Um, which, considering we've just spawned in a son, yeah, that's very true, Jamba. Definitely, someone has not um, has not lived through the dynasties. I reckon we'll go equal. Um, okay, no. How would Paddy feel about other religions? See, I think he'd be more of a pureist than a fundamentalist, because he has, at least in the past, had friends who were other religions. <coughs> and it's basically just how tolerant you are of other religions. I think he would be a pureist. Yeah, exactly, as long as they're sound. In which case, maybe he would be Right. No, no. I think he'd be a pluralist. Also, it might help us to get a. Um, it might help us to get more wives. <coughs> he did do that back in the book that suggests he'd be a pluralist. I think he would. Um, okay. I think we want to be the head of faith. Um. I think we'd have lay clergy because Paddy would want to um, own the uh, the temples. Kitching. A very good donation shot. Yes, I will do that as soon as we have decided on a religion. That's a good one. Um, okay. I think we'd want a temporal. I think we want to set it up so we can become the pope of this religion. We want to be the head of faith, don't we? <coughs> Paddy wants to be his own head of faith. Okay, marriage type. Is pa I don't think Paddy is going to be a monogamy guy. Um, monogamy means one wife. Now, polyamorous means you can have up to four wives. Or concubines mean you can have one wife and then you can have three concubines who are who are who are just women you can swap in and out of the role. We had to watch that doc where Tommy Robinson makes friends with a Muslim. Um, I think he I think he would be a concubine guy. Yeah, exactly. He's not going to want more wives. What do we think Paddy's views on divorce are? Would he ban divorce? But that would mean he then couldn't get divorce. You could just mean it so anyone can get divorced whenever they want. Or you can set it up so anyone can get divorced, but they have to ask Paddy for permission. Because Paddy is the head of faith. <laughs> he could well be now, Dominic Cummins. Yeah, approved only, I think. What about bastards? Um, if you have no bastards, that means that um, that means that 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 everyone is um, everyone's a legitimate child, whether they're born in wedlock or not. Uh, Legitimisation means they can be legitimate. Or no legitimization means 
they they can never be legitimized and, and only um only um Yeah, he can just he can just legitimate again Paddy can pick whether they're bastards or not, right? Okay. Consanguinity. How does Paddy feel about marriage rules? It would be funny if one of Paddy's wives leave him. Unfortunately, I don't know that they... I know that's not true. There is a system on the game where they could elope. How does Paddy feel about about um, marriage in the family? <laughs> I don't know that Paddy does think marriage rules. Does he think all coast clean marriages are taboo? Which is actually a more progress is is a more is a stricter rule than than we have now, because you can marry your cousin, can't you? So you can have you can does Paddy think cousins can get married? Does Paddy think that uh, cousins, aunts, nephews, uncles, and nieces can get married, or does Paddy just think that anyone can marry anyone? Yeah, does Paddy just think love is love? If I want to marry my daughter, I will. <laughs> yeah, we've got we've got a we've got a coup from Fathers for Justice. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, now we're on to the crime doctrines. What does Paddy think about same sex relations? Should they be criminal? Should they be shunned? Should they be accepted? And which, because of the way I've got the, the word against rule set up, if we have accepted same-sex relations, we can have same-sex marriage. Um, but it has to be accepted by the religion. And maybe by the culture. So if, if Paddy says you can have same-sex relations accepted, you can have same-sex marriage. Um, shunned means it's not a crime. Criminal obviously makes it a crime. Yeah, I feel like I feel like Paddy in real life shuns homosexuality. <laughs> yeah, I think I think it would be shunned, unfortunately. Yeah, as long as you can explain it, like you're know, just stocking ye old mini bar. <laughs> I was throwing fruit as a security guard, Your Honor. What does Paddy think about deviancy? Um, well, I don't think the game ever quite describes what deviancy is, but the, the picture of a goat is quite telling. Um, does Paddy think that deviancy should be criminal? Does he think it should be shunned? Does he think it should be accepted? It's worth bearing in mind that Paddy can still do a lot of these things because he's the king and will probably get away with it. Um, whereas he, he, he the, the, really, the, the laws really would apply to everyone else. Right, do we think that Paddy... Do we think... We've got some mixed feelings here. Then we either think that Paddy is very conservative and thinks everything should be a crime. Or are we really painting Paddy as a real love is love guy? So you can you can marry your sister, you can you can be deviant with a goat. Shunned apart from him, yeah. I think that's probably that probably is where we're going, Killiam. Okay, we'll say the goat is shunned, I guess. Yeah, I think that's right, Lab. I think that's how he I think that's how he is. I think he he would be a He would be a big exactly. Exactly. That Paddy might love the thing himself, but if he went on loose women to talk about it, he would go, Oh, I don't like the sound of that or something, wouldn't he? Um, okay, are we? So we're saying that male adultery should be accepted and female should be criminal. Yeah, exactly, exactly, Sean, exactly. If you're if you're gay or if you're shagging an animal, we'll just we'll just make fun of you um, in the pub and then we'll leave it at that. Um, how does Paddy feel about witchcraft?
and yes, and then invite them back to the hotel room. Would Paddy shun a witch? Would Paddy think a witch was committing a crime? Or would Paddy be all about witchcraft? He thought Greg's was witchcraft, didn't he? And he thought that was good. He did love Emerald Take Me Out. Yeah, good point. Um, how does he feel about kin slaying? Does he think you should just be able to kill anyone in your family? Do you think it's just a shunning offence? Or is it a crime? Yeah, that's a good point, Jack. But yeah, he likes a strong witch, but but uh, but he'd be terrified of them. Yeah, ex exactly. Paddy's a big family guy, isn't he? <laughs> but Reggio thinks that Paddy would just say, "Just kill your family. That's fine." He did say he nearly killed his dad when he had to go and pick him up a day early from the hotel, didn't he? But I don't think that would be his official position on it. I think he would say it was criminal to kill anyone in the in the dynasty. Um, does he think women should be priests? Does he think only men can be priests? Um... Or again, I think he might say that either men or women could be priests, but then if a woman was ever appointed the priest, he would he would he would find a reason to sack her. <laughs> that's too far for him. Yeah, that's true, Red. He might he might find that he might find them attractive. He might find them attractive. Yeah, I think he'd say anyone could do it, but then, but then, but then, for some reason, there would never be a female priest ever appointed for very long. They'd always go mysteriously missing, or you could just marry them off. What does Paddy think the church is for? Does he think it's for control, uh, for charity, or for recruiting men for the army? I think he thinks priests can get married, um, and we did that one. I reckon he wants control. He wants them to like him, or he wants more army men. Pretty wants more army men. Okay, we've got our rules. I'll be happy with our three tenets: astrology, carnal exhalation, pursuit of power. What do we decide on? Fickle fingerism. Yeah, exactly. He's not the religion's deity, man. I think the religion's deity is God, because it is still a Christian religion. But Paddy is basically the head of faith. Paddy is, Paddy is effectively the Pope. What would the plural be? And the adjective would be a. Would it be? Would a single follower of fickle fingerism be a fickle fingerer? Yes, good point. Good point, Oracle. Would it be a fingerer or a fingerist? <laughs> I think finger is funnier. Um, I don't know if we can edit that. Uh, do we have a particular colour we'd like for the faith? I think a nice. It only only what it shows up on the map, isn't it? A nice dark blue, I think. Do I need to do a poll?
Hang on, what are the... Things Tition. Just calling it what? Other. Please specify. <laughs> Just a finger is is good. <laughs> Just a finger would be good. A lot of fans of fingerers. Okay, we'll leave, we'll leave this for a bit. Again, hello to anyone who's coming through the game tag. You just want a finger Do you want me to redo the poll? Okay, okay, I'm repolling, I'm repolling. Finger up, fingerist, and then finger. <laughs> Streams Greg's propaganda. Well, I did pray a Greg's advert, didn't I? But I did edit it to make it slightly weird. But all the support for finger has, has dissolved in the time between polls. There was too much trouble at late night Greg's. Yeah, probably. Four, uh, another, another. <laughs> do, do, do you have another? Do you have? Do you have? Do you have another suggestion to proffer, or you just think they should be just called other? Well, now we've got a tie. Do I need to do a fingerist finger runoff? I don't think we've unpaused the game yet. Oh, hang on. Jambird's coming to break the tie. Thank you. And I'm going to finish the poll before. We've got a clear. We've got a clear. We've got a clear. Um, a clear mandate from the people. Oh, you have just voted to um, to name the single follower of um, of Paddy's religion will now be a fickle finger. Finger didn't have a majority. Yes, it did. Pillar was a fist. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was the biggest but not the majority. That that is true. Um, well, that's that's 
I think this was still relatively democratic for the early medieval period. I don't know how we're going to solve knife crime and gun crime, right? But I was brought up with a little bit of discipline. And I think if we had a bit more discipline... Oh yeah, I forgot if you... For each other, ...we might just sort it out. Thanks for listening to Night Class Court. Good night! Oh yeah, if you do type F enough, it does bring up the respect alert. Which currently rotates between um, um, us mourning the Greg's Nuts and the Queen. Okay, are we happy with this as a faith? If anyone has any, if anyone has any objections to the doctrine of fickle fingerism, now really is the time to raise them. We're going to create the faith. <laughs> okay, that does feel like a that does feel like a fair. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for disrespecting shitism, which I think I was doing with the description. Right, I'm creating a faith. But pay heed the warning: the beliefs of fickle fingerism can never be changed once it's been created. It's a fixed doctrine. Here we go. Create. There we are. We click Panion A. We're still we can now see that he is a fickle finger. And let's celebrate with the I'll hard pads alert. I'm muted. Sorry. I must have coughed. Yeah, unfortunately, it has to be that length because I can't. I can't turn it off. Um, it just has to let the song play out. Yeah, we maybe should. We maybe should think about unpausing the game. Here, let me get rid of this. Yeah, oh yes, here we go. Ding dang do. Okay, maybe we should now play the game. We've got we've got a religion. Um. Oh, actually, no, we can't because we did have another request, uh, which was to spawn in a talented senior advisor, Christine McGuinness. Don't know where we're going, but I know 
And I will do that while the uh, Oh, well, we don't take shit from anyone. The only thing we want to do is have some fun. We're Max and Party, Holly and Max. And best of all, we don't pay council tax. I did that one echo. Yeah, it might well have done. Okay. Gender will be female. Uh, should Christine be immortal? And which of these wonderful jobs should we give Christine? Oh no, our chaplain is a woman. We'll have to deal with that. Yeah, we're making Christine immortal? Yeah, no problem. Um, we can give her max stats as well. And maybe we should. Actually, she's already going to have high stats. We don't need to do that. Which job do we think Christine would hold? Would she be the Chancellor? Uh, would she be the Marshal, who's in charge of the army? Would she be the Steward? Would she be the Spy Master? Yeah, her stats are already going to be obscene um, on the spoil on the thing anyway. We can always boost the stats after the fact as well. <laughs> Max stats, Christine. What well, to be spy master? That would be awkward because then she would also be she would be in charge of helping Paddy seduce women. Okay, well, Max her stats. Does anyone not want her to be the spy master? Yes, Glitterhoof was a spy master. But the difference between Glitterhoof and Christine is that Christine will have very high stats. <laughs> yeah, it is. But the difference is Christine will be very good at her job, whereas um, Glitterhoof was not that well equipped to be the spy master. <laughs> As a little stupid horse. Yeah, exactly. Whereas Christine will have basically max stats. Yeah, because he was a horse. Are we happy with Christine as spy master? Is there any objection to Christine being the spy master? No, then we're going for it. Okay. Then we may just need to... Ah, here she is. Sinnerith of Shrewsbury, who is a beautiful genius Amazonian and immortal. Her stats are pretty maxed. And we will just, um, just edit this character. To give her her rightful name of Christine. Oh, oops. Um, and of course, I don't think she will be. Oh no, no, she wouldn't be. She wouldn't be Paddy, would she? Um, we can. We can give her her own. We can edit her house. Um, we can we can give Christine her own um, her own house, so she could be Christine of well Christine whatever. Um, we could make a part of our house, but that would be uh, we can make sure she's by at the moment. She is she's full gay, um, but we can we can edit that. To give her more options. There we go. Um, 
Uh, she is nearby. Uh, she obviously follows the fickle finger. She likes Paddy, which seems unrealistic. Uh, we'll just keep Christine pinned so we can see what she's up to. Christine did spawning gay. Christine, of course, our top option for a wife. Now we can, we could, we could try and marry Christine. Um, and Christine would also be an eternal eighteen years old as well. Um, I don't know that I. Maybe I can do something about that. Oh no, I can't. No, I can't. Oh, we do still need to spin the well. Thank you, Dr. Plem. She is an eternally young 18 years old. Okay, yeah, let's let's spin the wheel. Um, which I think just means popping. Oh, yes, here we go. Ding, ding, ding. Castle. Oh, wait, the green screen looks bad. Okay, come on, bring in the wheel. Okay, options on the wheel are um, I'll tell you what's currently on the wheel. I think it would also be acceptable if people had things they wanted to put on the wheel. They could they could add that. Um, they could add that for the price of a spin. Currently on the wheel, we can make someone fall in love with us. We can de-stress. We can do a murder. We can gain a violent fan club. We can gain or lose prestige, and we can gain or lose gold. Oh, and we can also make a new friend, which I think just means spawning someone in. Okay, let's spin the wheel. Let's see if it works. It does work. Gitching. That's fake for you. We've got some gold. The one thing we already had lots of. But that's good. It's good to be rich. Oh, yes, here we go. Ding, dang, do. Yes, the, once again, the fickle finger strikes. And it's given us loads of money. Um, we've already got so much. We'll just, we'll just, let's have another 10,000. Let's, we found it down the back of the sofa. We can buy everyone a curry now. That's right, maybe, maybe one of our, maybe one of our aims should be to take a county over here in, uh, in India so we can, so we can buy everyone a curry. Although they do have nice curry in North Africa, don't they? Oh yeah, I forgot this was... <laughs> this has now been renamed the Spiky Sultanate. Because <laughs> this guy's named after himself. Okay. Oh no. Mm, at the moment, our court chaplain is a woman. But there's not a lot we can do about it. Okay, we've got so much money now, I think we should build something. We should, bu we should, um, we should build ourselves something in, in, in Hot Bolton to develop the area. Paddy would invest in the local area. Would Paddy invest in a trade port, maybe? That will give him gold and development. Maybe hunting grains. That feels like a Paddy thing to do. Yeah, I reckon trade port. 
These aren't big decisions. We can take these for Paddy. Just remembered you have frozen Craig's vegan sausage rolls from Iceland. Excellent. He does. He does like vehicles. That's true. Um, and also, I think Paddy would probably invest in the armed forces. Um, and actually, we've got so much money. Let's get. Let's destroy these pikemen, and we can get whatever. Um, Paddy probably would build a spearmint rhino. That's true. Paddy loves the troops. Yes. Do you think Paddy would go for for house cars? The um, they're the best Anglo-Saxon troop. Paddy's just going to want the best troop, isn't he? The fittest boys. I think Paddy would definitely go for one lot of the house cars. Maybe some horses. He'd definitely go for one of these and max them out with all his money. And what would he go with? And a lot of tough lads or some horses. The problem is we live somewhere very hilly, so maybe horses aren't the best idea. Yeah, Paddy would just go with two lots of the best guys, wouldn't he? That's what Paddy would do. Just max them out. Um, that's going to lose us money every month, but that's fine. Because we've got loads of money. Easily go into danger. Yeah, I think, I think that's true. I think I think Paddy's instincts would be to be he would be a kind of natural coward, but then he would get angry and just charge into battle. I think that's what he would do. Um, oh, someone did ask about what the what the local religions were like, um, and I think the um, the the Canary Islands have their own religion that only appears in this bit of the map called Akamanism, who are um, who think that volcanoes are sacred. So that's who that's who lives on these islands. A little uh, or a kind of a small tribes of volcano worshippers. And then I feel like this is all gonna be uh, yeah, Ashari Muslims. And Naidat, which again is a different type of Muslim. So all of North Africa is going to be going to be Muslim, I think, including Dave Spikey, of course. So I think maybe maybe we should unpause the game. Oh, actually, what are our wife options? Of course, we've gained a couple of wife options now. We can marry Christine. Um, or we can marry our court chaplain. Um, or, of course, the, the three women who lived in the court before. Or we can try and find... What, what are Christine's... Christine's husband options are, again, just the other men in the court. Or us. No, I can't. I can't imagine it working out. But it could be. I mean, we know she's good. I mean, we can always have. We, we, can, we can always have Christy now as a concubine, which sadly I think sort of mirrors their current relationship. But it doesn't. They're breaking up. Hey, we can have all these. Yeah, we can just have them all as concubines. Um, we've got the best people doing all these other jobs, don't we? That is true. Yeah, we can just. This is actually if this. That's true. If we're just play, if we're just doing what Paddy would do. And Paddy was in a situation where he can just eternally marry Christine and she can't do anything about it. I feel like that's what he'd do. Uh, for the kingdom, the inheritance rules 
Uh, Confederate partition, uh, but of course equal gender now because we set that. At the moment, uh, Peter Paddison gets everything. Um, I think we probably could bring in. Uh, why can't we have a holy order? Oh, because we're not kings. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Um, oh, yeah, we can divine the stars. We want to know whenever that's possible. Thank you. And we also want to know whenever we can have a feast or a hunt, I think. Um, no, I, I don't think your your wife. I don't think your wife can inherit. Although actually, she could. She she maybe would inherit if 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 she gave birth to an heir and then the heir died. I think I think that would because there's no one else to inherit, right? That might be true. That might be true. Look, do we want to marry Christine or not? <laughs> we'll see what happens. She does have incredibly high intrigue, so it's possible. Yeah, marry we can always we can always get a divorce if it doesn't work out. Hey, we could make it Christine's dynasty. Mary Christine, um, if there's anyone that has any objection as to why these people should not be wed, please speak now, or, I mean, just tell me later. Fingers can divorce, yes. Although you need Paddy's permission to divorce. And we are Paddy. Okay. Yes, if, if, if they're men... <laughs> it does sound ominous. Uh, unfortunately, I think it's it's a kind of metaphorical hook. So if you know something about them or they owe you a favour, you can you can use that to make it more likely that someone will accept a marriage. Okay, we're married to Christine. A married Countess Christine. Um. Why could you not be spymaster? Oh, no, so, yeah, that's fine. So by marrying Christine, she then becomes the wife member of the council, which actually is better because it means she basically does all the jobs. She basically helps everyone with all the jobs. So actually it's better than having her as spy master. Well, this is, I mean, in a way, this is play. And I guess we'll give Das all the job back. Okay, shall we hit play? Oh, or... Or because we, because we're astronomers, we can hit divine the stars. Do we want to discover a cosmic insight into the near future? This is what we get because we're astrologers. Let's divine the stars. Okay, we do have to hit play for that to happen. Um, is there anything else we need to do while we're stuck here? Oh, the other thing we can do is we can micromanage um, who other people are married to in the court. So we can... we can. Um, who's this very old man? Uh, we can give him a wife. Why don't you marry the spy master? Paddy would absolutely marry off his courtiers because it's just like... It's just like take me out to Paddy, isn't it? It's just like take me out to Paddy. Oh, actually, I'll tell you what we could do. This is a very paddy move. So our court chaplain, because we've got a new chaplain because we're a new religion, is a woman. But I think if we make this woman the concubine, I think she'll lose a job. And then it might be, might be replaced with a man. I know. No, 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 she can do both. Great. She can serve us and God. Perfect.
Oh god, I do. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. I do, I do need to set up a tape me out mini game, don't I? <laughs> I don't know what it would consist of, but yeah, I do need to think about that. <laughs> yeah, take me under. <laughs> Who's coming up the love lift? It's Tazate. <laughs> there are only two girls. Are they, are they leaving their lights on for Tazate? He's arbitrary, fickle and generous. Uh, Dida is Gregorious, deceitful and sadistic. And Nastique is deceitful, sadistic and humble. But look, we can do this, we can do this later, we can do this later. Okay, um, let's hit play. We're now playing the game. Oh yeah, of course. Um, we've just created a we've created the Catholic schism, haven't we? This is the schism music. The Catholic clergy have lost their way and can no longer be trusted to guide us. To remedy this. I have gathered a select group of priests together to discuss the future of our faith. I think that was us. These fickle, fris these fickle finger priests are encouraging cooperation and tolerance, even towards non-believers, and encourage adherents to indulge in the desires of the flesh and live their lives to the fullest. Fickle fists clearly await the prophesied arrival of their Pope, a great leader who will rally all the faithful behind them and usher in a new fickle finger golden age. The world will see that God favours us. I think to become Pope, I think we have to occupy one of the holy sites, which because we're Christian are all pretty big ones. Uh, Jerusalem, Rome, Cologne, Santiago, Canterbury. Uh, Santiago would be the easiest one of those to get. Um, but that might be a bit of a way off. Um, pr probably slightly less, I'm going to say, Oracle, because um, we're pluralist. But they do still think we're evil, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we do still think, we do still think we're evil. Ah, well done, Christine. Uh, we've gained a manipulation hook on Dasil, because, um, because Christine has manipulated a subject. That is true, we are going to Ireland, we could, we could smash into Canterbury. We could smash into Canterbury, that's true. But that feels like a long way off. We have 261 troops. Okay, let's play the game again. Um, if we want people to... We could, we could host a feast, we could go on a hunt. Um, oh, of course we've divined the stars. I've spent many nights looking up at the night sky, tracking the movements of the celestial bodies. Over time I noticed a pattern, and after days of analysis, I'm now confident in my prediction. The signs are clear. A great battle lies in wait for me. I wonder what else the future holds in store. We've gained anticipating great battle for ten years, which has made us better at war. I wonder what else the future holds in store. We are expecting a battle. Um, we need to wait for our army to grow a little bit. We could start a war. I mean, the obvious guys to start a war with would probably be Koran Kadidu of Maxarata, which I think is future Ventura, isn't it, in the Canary Islands? That's a good menu. Can we declare? Oh, of course, we we can declare war quite easily for two reasons. Now we can declare holy wars because because um, we're we're the Pope of our religion, or the Pope most of us, or we can just use the conquer because we've got we've got um, pursuit of power, haven't we? So we could do that. Although at the moment they are more powerful than us uh, because our army is still growing. Um. Okay. What are our other options? Uh, not a lot. Um, 
Oh, that's the point. We could, we could. Um, what's our? Oh yeah, I think what we should do is use our our steward should probably promote, should probably convert the culture, and also we should probably, we should probably convert, um, we should probably convert our um, our people into the ways of the fickle finger. And we're not scheming, are we? We're not scheming. We could be we could be trying to seduce someone. Could try to seduce our wife. Um sixty percent chance of Christine becoming our lover. Let's try and seduce Christine. I feel like we should always be running a seduce when we were Paddy. Okay, uh, what are the what's the these would be the other guys we could war with, I think. Comran Massanen of Madeira. This little land, yeah, that's Madeira, this one. Yeah, we should always be trying to seduce someone, and there aren't that many women to choose from. Okay, who are the um oh there's yes, there's Nastique and Dida. That's it. Okay, no, no, there are a few. Maybe we should marry off our guys. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> Would you believe, Sharble, we've not actually made that much progress in the game. But we have created a new religion. Um, we've created the religion of Fickle Fingerism. Uh, that's now, that's now up and running. Love the pleasures of the flesh. Love astrology. Love power. Um, and we were just thinking of marrying off some of our. Okay, let's pick. We should have a kind of take me out style mini game for this, but um, you know. Okay, so we've got Nauzet. He's our steward and knight. <clears throat> he's brave, he's stubborn, he's zealous. He's a mastermind philosopher, he's a lunatic. Um, so, Daedra and Nastique, are your lights on or off? I think they might be off. Uh, Dida is Gregorius, deceitful, sadistic, grey eminence, a, a diplomat. Nastique, deceitful, sadistic, humble. Let's let the game play while we're doing this. Um, is he an evil blackguard? No, uh, one of these was. Uh, Dida, Dida is an treacherous villain. That's that's who we've got. Oh, hang on, the events come up. New coinage. Okay, here we are, decision time. It is my right and responsibility to determine what coinage is to be used throughout all of the Isle of Fernandos. The choices I make will determine how the coinage, and by extension my realm, is seen throughout the world. Okay, so should we mint silver, silver coins to facilitate trade? Um, which will just uh, give them new coins. Mint gold coins imprinted with my own vis visage, um, which will just give us some prestige. Or should we debase the coinage with inexpensive nickel, which basically we can save some money. Yeah, I think I think I don't think there's a decision to be made here, is there? I think Paddy would put his own face on the coin. There's no need. Not everything needs to go to a poll. Paddy's put his own face on the coins. Paddy's put his own face on the coins. Um, we can't build a settlement, can we? Because of the no, that's fine. Okay, Paddy coin has been minted. 
Um, back to trying to decide. Yes, Doge Pad. Okay, do either of these girls have either of these girls left their light on for now? Zet. He's a philosopher, lunatic, zealous adventurer. Um, and this is what he looks like. Yeah, I reckon they both leave it on. They both leave him on. Um, okay, and then and then now Zet would have a question to ask Dida. Oh, uh, Ilo Fernandez gained encouragement for ten years. My spouse's excellent stewardship skill led to this windfall. So Christine is is doing well. She's secured us some good trade deals. It does feel like Christine is doing a lot of the work here while we are messing around playing Take Me Out with the Courtiers. Which I think is how it would be. Um, Dada is bi. Noza is, is heterosexual. Um, so Noza, he's a lunatic. And he's stubborn. He's stubborn and brave and zealous. Um, so he would have to ask them a question, wouldn't he? Uh, so he would ask them, <laughs> you know, if 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 thoust were an animal, what would thoust be? Um, Dad is a deceitful blackguard. But she's Gregorius. So she'd say she'd say like a like a friendly horse, probably. A nice Gregorius horse. Whereas Nastique is a deceitful humble sadist. Uh, so she'd be like a snake, I reckon. And then based on that, he would have to look at them and decide which one he thought was most attractive. Um What would his final choice be? Would he go for Dowder? Would he go for Nastique? He's brave and stubborn. I think, yeah, he'd go for the one that was... He said he'd go for the one that was a horse. Uh, lunatic is an inheritable trait. So we could be breeding lunatics. Let's send the proposal. Oh, it's automatic. We're in the court. Okay, great. There we go. Another happy couple. Uh, they both hate me. Brilliant. Who's next in the love lift? Oh, we haven't we haven't unpaused the game. That's a mistake. Who's late in? Who's next in the love lift? It's it's Malaga. <laughs> yeah, you know you get a date on the Isle of Fernandos, which is where you live and do everything else. Um. So I mean, it's sort of like a date, but but actually, they they just have to live there forever. That's um, that's actually what they win on this. Okay, Malaga is lustful. He's content. He's brave. He's a skilled tactician and an organizer. Um, I think they hit him quite a bit. I mean, he just fell out of the sky, didn't he? So that's going to make you be suspicious. He fell out of the sky and created a new religion. Okay, there's only one. Oh, yet again, some encourage, some encouraging development. Thank you, Christine. Uh, there's just Nastique. Has Nastique left her light on for Malagoa? I think she probably has. He seems like a catch. So that I, I guess there's just one contestant. They don't need to. They just go. They just they just do it. Oh, there we go. Great. Married. Um, and then there's not there's no one else to there's no other women. <laughs> we've, we've run out of women. Look, we'll find some more women. Right, we are more powerful than this guy now. Who's weaker? He's got four four six troops. 
he's got some, okay. Uh, oh, master, okay. Master of words. Oh, good, we're okay, so we're trying to seduce Christine. As a scholar of the diplomatic arts, I'm well aware of the power of an eloquent compliment. Showing admiration for a woman's best quality is a sure path to her heart. I shall write a letter to Christine complimenting her noble and loyal nature, her ambition and lust for life, <laughs> her forgiving nature, or her unparalleled breathtaking beauty. And I think we know which one Paddy would do, don't we? I think we know which one Paddy would do. Paddy would only compliment her beauty. I don't think we even need to... Uh... He would say that, wouldn't he? Yeah. But I think he thinks that's complimenting her beauty. Your compliment is well received. The scheme seduced... Candice Christine has gained budding interest. She's interested in us. Yeah, I, I assume that's what we said, Gillian. We said, yeah, you're still, you're still gorgeous, even though you're really old slash immortal slash 18. Forever. Okay, now, we, now the stars told us to declare war, didn't they? We are now... We are now more powerful than, um, than this guy. But also, we've got loads of money, so what we, we could um, we could hire some mercenaries just to really seal the deal. These guys have got camels. What do you reckon? Is it time to declare war? We are supposed to be pursuing power. Shall we go in with what we've got? Which, I mean, in principle, we do have the numbers and we've got better quality soldiers. Um, or shall we get some mercenary camels just to really seal the deal? We have got loads of money, obviously. Because <laughs> we could just make use of the camels while we've got them. How long do we get the camels for? Uh, the Company of Sue. 329 gold for three years, which isn't bad. Okay, go on, we're hiring the camels. Okay, we've got three years of camels. And then I'm, I'm sorry, Koran Kadadu, but um, unfortunately we are going to conquer your county. <clears throat> okay, are we all ready for war? Um, I think it will make Paddy's picture change to give him a different hat. So look forward to that. Um, yeah, this won't help the cultural acceptance between their culture and the Anglo-Saxons. And he will lose 25 opinion of us um, because we declared war on him. But it's wartime. Oh, no hat yet, because we're not actually at war. Okay, the war music's kicked in. Um, let's move our rally points so we're slightly closer to them. And let's raise all the troops. I'll just pop it in so we get to see Paddy in a hat. Oh, they're already raised. Okay, let's just go... I don't even think we need to boat because we're so close. Should we just go straight in? Would Paddy lead the troops himself? Or would he send one of his guys to do it? I think he might do it himself because it's... Um, it's such a winnable war. But I think even then he would send his Nick, who at the moment I think is Tazarte. Yeah, he'd send a guy in. 
okay he's raising his troops but we're up we're gonna smash them here because we've got our we've got camels even though I think camels probably aren't this probably isn't the best terrain for camels um, right okay let's smash them we are on slow in the meantime that would leave us free to host a feast but maybe we'll save it we'll host a victory feast if we win the war here we go will it be anticlimactic <laughs> maybe are they is he leading his own army uh, he is yes we might okay we could get an easy win here okay we're gonna smash these guys obviously Camels are fighting in bad terrain. Of course they are. It's the sea. Our oh, night now Zet was warded. It was now Zet just got married. Oh, we don't have a physician, do we? That's a problem. Should we have a physician? Way there we go. We smash them. We smash them. Um, we lost 45 soldiers they lost 442 of 446 initial soldiers right okay no that does mean we don't need to very slowly siege their um, their thingy in the meantime that's reminding me that no one is taking any of these jobs Slaughter of Red Rate does sound like Paddy made it up, that's true. Should we... Oh, should we give Christine the physician's job? Or do we think Christine's already busy enough? We don't really need an antiquarian or anything. We could have a court tutor. We could have a sen 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 seneschal, who I think just keeps things under control. Maybe we would have a bodyguard. Or a personal champion. Personal champion can take your place in duels, which is uh, for like what Paddy would do. Okay, we're giving Christine the uh, we'll give Christine the uh, the physician's job. How's this coming along? Okay, it's going to take seven months to. Uh... Yeah, that's such. Let's just have a look at our situation. I think. Because at the moment, if we want the duchy, the duchy is the canary. So yeah, we'd, we'd have all three of these to get the, to become a, a duke. And then the kingdom... Oh yeah, the kingdom will involve us taking on Dave Spikey and becoming what at the moment is the Spikey Sultanate. Yeah, we'd have to do Madeira next. We probably can while we've got our we've got our camels raised, not raised, but we, while we're employing some camels. Um, do we want? Anything? Do we want? Well, there's no point in having a court tutor, is there? Because our only child is this bloody, this idiot boy. Oh, that's the point. Should um. Should Paddy be educating the idiot himself? I think he probably should. Not least because it will give us some events where they interact. They will need to have a long swim, won't they? Um, okay, let's, let's speed up a little bit. Are they going to... Oh, a reading in Hot Bolton. Okay, so this is us trying to seduce Christine again, I think. The celebrations had come to an end and the evening's entertainment seemed to be open, over when Countess Christine suggested a reading. A clerk soon, soon arrives, wondering what the guests would like to hear, and I see my chance to impress Christine. What would we read to Christine? Something pious? Like the small book on theism. A little bit of fickle fingerism. Let's be entertained. Travels to Byzantine. So do we think she wants to hear something entertaining? Something about religion? Or on the judgment of the stars would give us a chance to learn. 
Do we think do we think Christine wants to hear something religious, something entertaining, or something informative? <laughs> what do you think in my life he counts as uh, as pious? I suppose it is, isn't it? Because Paddy is yeah, the religion's all about Paddy. Well, yeah, I suppose in this, my life is a religious text. This is such stressful flirting. It's what it was like back in the day, Killian. <laughs> I remember this back, back before the back before the social media, back before you had all the apps. This is what you had to do. You had to, you had to, you had to, you had to hang around for a for a for a pious reading. Yeah, I think Paddy would be all entertainment. I think Paddy would be all entertainment. Remember, we're doing what, what, what? Remember, all our decisions are thinking about what Paddy would do, not what would work. Oh, Aloha, Tricky Zark. Um, sorry. Well, not sorry. All are welcome, but uh, you know, don't don't sell, don't try and sell followers. It is true he's never read a book. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Back on my yeah. You want to buy some? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I can tell you, Oracle, there will be more of them. Uh, what would Paddy do? So, um, I mean, it is true, it's hard to work out Paddy's never read a book. But bear in mind, Paddy's not actually reading the book here. Um, uh, there's, a, there's a clerk who's going to read the book for him. So he's just saying which book should be read aloud to everyone in the room. It's basically what channel to put on the TV. Yeah, exactly. Nick has come in the room and it's like, Nick, read one of these three books. Which book do we hand to Nick? He would he would go he would go I'm sh I, I I'm convinced of it. Paddy would go full entertainment. Which is religion for Yeah, that I suppose it's complicated by the fact we've now designed the religion. So religion is all about Paddy. We're going to need to do a poll, aren't we? Are we I think we're ruling out educational altogether, aren't we? There's no way it would be educational. Will it be pious? Will it be entertainment? Let's put it to the people. Which of these is gonna gonna seduce Christine? It is true. It would. It is quite highbrow entertainment, isn't it? Yeah. It's a travel show. Paddy thinks a travel show is high culture. Whereas what was the what was the the small book on theism? Which yeah, so, I mean a small book would appeal to Paddy. Okay, fine. Yeah, I think I think that's. I don't. I don't think. I think. I think that's. I think that's. Um, that's conclusive. Something pious, please. As the clerk reads for us, Christine seems completely engrossed. She later approaches me. Good choice, Paddy. She says and brushes off her dress. It was great, wasn't it? The seduced skin gains smouldering chemistry. Great, now back to the war. <laughs> oh, that's a sign of war. Uh, we are sieging their little islands. It's not looking good for them. 
basically to win wars in this game you have to get the war score up to 100 and you do it by winning a combination of winning battles um, kind of sieging um, places down which takes a while and you can take important prisoners which puts your war score up um, but you just have to get lucky with that well, the war did pause while we were um, while we were discussing the the text, as in real life. But yeah, we are still at war. Um, but not for much longer. Max two months. Oh no. Seeing Crusader Kings is reminding me of jokes I made two years ago where I vividly remember typing war score seven years ago in the war chat. Brilliant. Oh no. Oh, hi, hi SK. Thank you for... Oh, okay. We've got some domestic disputes to deal with. But first we have to see me in the mash bath. For some reason not. There I am. Okay. Domestic disputes. Wolf who heed, who is I believe the court chaplain and our concubine. Uh, that is a new mesh bath feature, yes. A wolfy burst into my room, fuming like a pot at boil. The heat coming off her is slightly intimidating. This is unacceptable. The way she, she, arg. Christine is such a hag. Wolfy motions furiously with her arms. Can't you do something? Given Wolfy's state, I can't be certain that something has happened. I need to tread carefully. Okay, so our two wives seem to be having some sort of argument. I've only ever heard her say nice things about you. Which is um, an attempt to soothe the situation. Oh, Peter Kay's turned up. Okay, so our two, our wife and our concubine are bickering. Um, do we try and soothe the situation? Say, I've only ever heard her say nice things about you. Do we try and egg her on into a fight? You know, she did say something about your hair. Do we ask um, Wolfie to go and talk to her? We'd use our diplomacy skills to try and solve it through communication. Or do we say, this is ridiculous, I really don't care, just solve it. What do we do? Do we soothe the situation? Do we egg her on, potentially making it worse? Do we get the, just get them to talk? Or do we just say, I don't care? Yeah, I don't think Paddy would be too keen to intervene. But I, I, I see the problem there, SK. You're thinking. You're thinking like a normal person. You're thinking about what the sensible thing to do is. Whereas what we're trying to think is what would Paddy do in this situation. Um, do we have a consensus, or do I need to put this to the poll? Paddy would like to make things easier. Yeah. Would he try and soothe the situation? But won't modify his behaviour to justify the lie. I think he would say this is this is stupid. He'd just say this is ridiculous. 
and just let it sort itself out. I think that's what Paddy would do. I don't think he'd go out of his way to mediate. Or I think he might he, he might do a joke about something she said and that would make it worse. I think that's something Paddy would do. <coughs> yeah, I think Dr. Plem's got this. Paddy wouldn't get involved in a women's quarrel. He'd say, this is ridiculous. And he'd just say, sort it out yourself. It's improved their relationship. <laughs> they grew closer to forming a, a friendship with Christine. Uh, and they, oh, they they gained a they gained opinion of each other. So it sorted itself out. They like each other now. Great. And this war is nearly won. Ah, our small harbour has been constructed. Lovely. We've got a little harbour now. Um, shall we build something else? Are we the best ever at ruling? I think Paddy would say we are, yeah. Should we build something else? Maybe some farms? Some hunting grounds, maybe? Some hunting grounds for the lads, I reckon. Get some hunting grounds for the lads. Are we, are we treating all descendants Paddy or trying to work out what the trauma of a pad dad would do to us? Oh, that's the sound of war. We've captured, we've captured his court shaman. Brilliant. Great news. We've won the siege, 100% war score. Let's enforce our demands. <laughs> yeah, Paddy summoned apt. He would just he would just surrender every war he's won. Um, we'll see if we keep them after the war. Uh, enforce demands. Disband the army. To the chattering Earl Paddy, may your humours rot in your living body. You're a much greater foe than I imagined, thank you. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands, which is to give us all of your lands and just become a wanderer. Great. So now we've got... We've got this island. Maserata is now ours as well. Um, oh, we should feudalise that because we've got loads of money. Make it into a castle. Lovely. Um, Maserata, which of course we can, um, we can rename to something else um, if we want to do that. How can we build a port there as well? Um, they do, they do hate us there. So I think we are going to just increase control there. Get our steward just to tell them to like Paddy. We do have a prisoner. Um, okay, we don't want to execute the prisoner. Let's get them to convert to fickle fingerism and join the court, I reckon. And then I might need to finish up because we are. Um... But it's late. It's late. We spent a lot of time making our own religion, you know. So. Um... We can do this next time. We will. We will. We will. We will take me out, Dasil. Actually, let's um, let's 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 say she can she can join the court. She can get out of the prison. She just needs to accept the fickle finger. 
I think that's good. The Isle of Fernandez, the Isle of Fernandez is expanding. It's now two islands. Well, several islands. And I think, oh, we can create the Duchy of the Canaries. Let's do that. Let's become a Duke. And I think that's a perfect place. It's a perfect. We are now, rank gain, you are now a mighty petty king. We're now petty king Paddy of the Canaries. Um, which, of course, we can rename. Um, and maybe we'll do that next time. We can rename it. We could rename the Canaries Isle of Fernandos, I guess. Or maybe the island just stays as the Isle of Fernandos and we have another name for our title. We can think about that. Yeah, PK, PKP in the chat for Petty King Baddy. So I feel like next time we will want to take the final Canary um, and maybe think about declaring full war on the Sultan Dave Spikey. And look, now Paddy's got a little hat. Is he's, he's moving up in the world? I think this has gone well for Paddy. I think we've made we've made progress. I mean, we've I think we've played in terms of game time. We've played about two months, um, but you know, we've. Um, We've we've made our own religion. We've we've become a petty king. Uh, we can't have a jester yet. No, we need to become a king for that. A full king. We're just petty. Um, we need to become a full king, which means taking a bit more land. But you know, I think it's within our grasp. I think it's within our grasp. Um, how is the to ding dang do list looking? Um, become ruler of Oriel Island. Yeah, okay, we're a bit we're a bit far off that. Um, we can't yet make Ben Moss court jester because we do not have a court jester yet. Exactly, you've got to do you've got to be a full king for anyone on Morris dance, and we have not yet acquired the fickle finger of fate. Um, that would also take us a little bit of time, but you know we're on we're on course to do it. Well, let's let's pop back in the let's pop back in the throne room. Oh yes, here we go, ding dang do. Right, well, well done, everyone. I think we're off on the. I think we're off on the. Maybe not the right. We're off on a track, you know. We 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 bust through the Greg's wall. We started a new religion. Become a petty king. Got ourselves a. Got ourselves a, a, another Christine. Yeah, I should fix that transition so it doesn't cut off the end of the thing. But I, I haven't, I haven't done that. <laughs> King of a glorious future. Well, I mean, I'll definitely do it again next week. Um, uh, I think this one will work best as a weekly stream. So I think Thursday will be King Dang Do night now um, for. Well, I mean, we've played two months of game time, so could be a fraction less. La it's okay, okay, it's like I can't actually control its volume on here because of the way I've set it up, which is bad. So I will, I will, I will deal with that. I will deal with that. Um, let's pop back outside. Oh, you can hear it again, I mean, but, Oh no! Oh no! Horse. Oh no! Ooh, that fresh bake oh, smell. No. We're stuck with, we're the rest of the bags of water. Make our own pasties fresh every day. Oh no. For that delicious oh, no. just bake taste. That'll do for me. Thank you. Greg's the baker's ready when you, you are. You don't need to chop in Greg's. Oh, oh and I've, I've disappeared as well. This is where we got our piety from earlier. Um. Nice bit of tasty Greg's piety. Well, I mean, don't feel like you can't shop in Greg's. Um, we don't have a Greg's. It doesn't. It's not a thing here. It's not a thing here. Um, 
There's a, a Greg's Outlets. You've never set foot in a Greg. Well, that's maybe for the best. No, thanks everyone. This has been this has been nice. I think this, I think this will work as a as a as a stream for for a for a, you know for a while. I think it'll be good. Um, that'll be good. So I think Thursdays Thursdays will be King 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 Dang Do Day Night Evening. Um, I don't know how we're gonna solve knife crime. Oh no! How's this happened? I was brought up with a little bit of discipline, and I think if we had a bit more discipline, yeah, a bit of respect for the Greg's nuts. We might just sort it out. Thanks for listening tonight, Glasgow. Good night. <laughs> I will take care of myself and everyone else. I can't remember what triggers it. It could be just saying Greg's. I don't know. Um, I will pop up some more streams. Um, I want to play through some Pokemon games before the new Pokemon game comes out, which I've left it too late to do now because that is that's happening soon, isn't it? Um, so I might do some Pokemon at some point, but I, my voice is still in and out because of COVID, uh, which I'm mainly over now. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Lisa's fine. Lisa's mum's fine. The dogs are fine. Everyone's fine. Um, Eighteen eleven. That is that is too soon for me to play through the games. Um, but that's good. Yeah, before you can play Pokemon Motorbikes or whatever it's going to be called. Oh, here's Kekri. Hi, Kekri. You look older than that now. This should be. I should update the picture of Cat Creek. I'll be your dream. Okay, I'll be your wish. Again. I'll be your fantasy. Oh yeah, Kiri's got a cool own, picture of Cat Creek. I'll be your me. love. Be everything that you need. I love you more with every breath. Truly, madly, deeply do. do I will be level. strong. I will be brave. Which part of it? Which part of it could I regret? Oh, much is Nature's cling film. What a bunch of lads. They do speed up the song, yeah, they just couldn't do it at the right speed. Unnatural no. eggshell. And there's the joke. Okay, a perfect, way to, cling a perfect way to end the stream. I don't answer the number quick. Right, I'm going to reverse out. Um, thanks everyone for, for, for persevering with this. Um, I will. I will see you next week for episode two of King Dang Do. Uh, if not before that, for other stuff. Okay, here I go. Here I go. Bye, everyone. <laughs>